hello hello everyone how's it going welcome back to a brand new stream and once again we are doing the exact same thing uh we're gonna spend a little bit of time at sura and then go to amber amber is still working which is great uh we can try a little bit of time there let's hope um we get something big here at sura i just want a russian sturgeon thank you so much for tuning in uh let's get started shortly i'm just messing around with this floating here One sixty-two seventy-eight. Uh, Dragon Claw's gotten three trophies in two hours. Nice. And he's using muscle. Heck, we should start up there then. Uh, before it gets worse. But uh, I don't see a difference in the weather. It's just this rain might be an issue, and that's about it. Uh, there's nothing more to it, so it shouldn't die down all of a sudden. Alrighty, uh, let's see here. Is this our usual spot? I believe so. I'm not going to go to the island today. Oh, hold on. Need to increase. 45 here, let's. Alright, let's hope uh, it's a repeat of the day before yesterday that we had. The day before yesterday was amazing. And yesterday, if you missed the stream, uh, I ended up catching a 23 kg common carp trophy at Amber. It's close to the end of the stream, so at least we ended at a, at a high note. And today, thank you very much Beluga, I have another sturgeon recipe here that I'm trying out. Let's see how this one goes. Let me just uh, on my phone restart the stream because I, I'm not seeing any comments. It could be no one's commented or it could be I'm just not receiving it right now. Oh, there we go. See, that's the issue. Adam, hey, how's it going? Uh, Beluga, I was just float fishing for a little bit before the stream started. I thought, you know what? Let's see what I can catch. And I only got a Sitchel, which is fine. Yes, hey, hey, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. Knowles, hey, Dijon. Uh, I've put ground bait only on my, uh, this guy here, Tagara. And the others don't have any ground bait on, they just have weights on. So let's see uh, the difference in bites, if there is any at this point. Uh, once again, just a reminder, tomorrow is Friday, guys. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming uh, The Fisher Online. It's it's working. I tested it out today. Hopefully, uh, tomorrow we can start a brand new journey in that game. I've only caught one fish. My first fish was a, uh, a roach, I think. 466 gram roach. <laughs> so, uh, this Tagaro uh, is... Uh, Jess has lent me her Tagara. This is 18.5 kg. The one I want is the 23 or the 26 kg one. But I mean, I'm uh, 8 grand away from that. Oh, I'm uh, halfway, just over halfway. So let's see how that goes. As per usual, initially, I think Sura is always slow. Then it just picks up. Uh, Jess, I believe you've had luck today at Amber. Uh, I ended up buying the oyster boilies. Uh, so we can go ahead and test mussels, boilies, and if uh, it's still slow honey dough, we can try that. No, float fishing is uh, none of my interest. It's 33.3%. Uh, holy cow, I put in two points in Bolognese rod. That was a mistake. Why did I do this? Because uh, I was never going to use this. It's just like when I want uh, to farm, I don't know, bleak or something, I'll use it then. But besides that. Oh no, Jess. 
Ah, uh, that switch just turned off for you. Like, oh, it says just having a good time here. Nope. Turn the switch off. Yay. Pike said, old bird. Yeah, you need that high, uh, high level stuff. I wonder if, uh, not this, my inventory. What I want to know is, can, can this work? So where is it? Where? This funky minnow. Because I remember the last time the pike spot went active, this funky minnow got me, I think, two 9kg pikes and like hundreds and hundreds of silvers worth of pike farm. But now, this time, you need some really uh, high level stuff, the lure or whatever it is. And I don't have that, so. Isn't it odd? It's cloudy everywhere, every day. Lure is cloudy. Donuts uh, cloudy with two sunny days. Volkov is half half. Uh, bear completely cloudy. Kurai completely cloudy. Like, what's going on? Balea completely cloudy. Oh, holy cow! Even Old Berg. Every single place is cloudy. What's wrong with this game? Amber completely cloudy. Baduga cloudy. Every place is cloudy. Not sure why that's happening. I know that's a lot wrong lure, but that's the only one I have. See the right lure that you need for that pike farm at Old Berg, it's like uh, a soft jerk bait or something. And uh, I'm way off that, so I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah, the popper, it looks like a green and yellow fish. It looks like a perch, I believe. That's the lure. Okay. Well, it's evening time. It should pick up, honestly. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, please don't forget to like stream. I really appreciate it. And hopefully uh, you enjoy it. Hopefully we get some good fish and it's a uh, good entertainment. Oh, it's brown, huh? No popper, 11. Interesting. Alrighty. Uh, someone got trophy chubs and browns at Bilia as well. But I don't think I can cast that far. Hey, nice, snipe nice brown trout. One five feet. And we got zero bites. Okay, that's top water. Yeah, that's some advanced stuff. What's the date? Holy cow. Alright, today is the 10th. Have anything from today? Yes, we do. Uh, it's a tuna 20. And nothing for the tent here. And uh, ooh, look at that, the biggest one. Garlic Muscle 16. Uh, there's only one mirror that's, holy cow, look at this, 43 kg, 47 kg, that's insane. Garlic and Muscle. Oh, Russian sturgeon. Someone just got a 10 kg. Look at that, it's sweet. 
That many sturgeon, uh, sorry, pikes. That's a good money farm. Thought I saw this line move. Yes. Thing takes it. It's something tiny. Uh, but this is going to be our first fish. <laughs> it's a start. Uh, what is this? Cannot see this at all. The burbot. The hatchling burbot. Ready, let's see here. Got. Hopefully by the time we go to Amber, uh, my uh, caliber will have been repaired. It had 43 minutes left repair time on it. So how's everyone's week been going? <laughs> Thursday already. Uh, Mon it was a long weekend this past weekend, it was Labor Day, so everyone was off on Monday. Which is why this week has gone so by so quickly, it feels really short. Ooh, someone got, I think there are two people who got 100 kg catfish at Sura. They were however fishing at another spot I think. I definitely do not want a 100 kg catfish because uh, that's going to take me several hours. There's that a bear bit. That's a rough. Yes, look at that. 66 gram. Alrighty, cool fish, huh? It uh, it looks exactly like algae or duckweed. I think that's where it's supposed to hide out, I guess. Beluga, have you been fishing today in RF4? How's it going for you? Any sturgeons, any carps. My leaderboard here, my stats haven't changed at all. The one trout is still the highest paid fish and the most experienced. Our biggest fish is still 30 kg. And uh, we're just waiting for uh, something new to replace. Oh, okay, you're not fishing. You're probably, what, grinding, I guess? <laughs> Leveling up your food making and ground bait making. Uh, is this a wild carp? Yes, it is. Unfortunately, these fish are wasting our ground bait. Right, something should be on this alpha. You burp it. <laughs> Enjoy it. Enjoy Beluga. And I spent a lot of money making ground bait, but uh, I think it's just the time it takes. I just couldn't do it. What is this? Another wild. Hopefully a marker. No, not a 
single marker yet. Uh, but at least we're getting bites, so... for shift pressing. I think they might be on our, our other line here. <laughs> Thank you, Beluga. Adam, good luck with the catfish. Hope you get him and hope it's a big one. Yeah, I guess I hooked him too soon, but I also uh, pressed shift. It's okay, I think it wasn't that big of a fish, so. So far, this is what we have. Hey, at least one marker rough, actually. Hi, Garibo. Garido. How's it going? Yeah, I look like a uh, okay size, I guess. All right, something on our Tugara again. Let this be a sturgeon, please. Virgins and Sterlets bite at night as well, right? Because uh, I think they slow down at night for some reason. Okay, we're going fishing. Now, good luck. This be oh no, it's a it's a wild. Another non marker, perhaps. Yes, it is a marker. Nice, finally. At least the fish are biting. My hope for today, I think, is to get at least one big battle with the fish. And I just don't want it to be with a wild carp. Anything but a wild carp. And hopefully it's on the Takara. Oh, if someone has 98% float, that's insane. Carp is hard. Like, I can't imagine people using telescopic uh, for these carps here. Uh, 19 kg common carp. Telescopic. They buy from 1700 to 2100. Okay. That's very specific time rate. But it is what it is, I guess. Something here. Could be a marker wild carp. The 
could be a catfish. I think it's a wild carp. Six, seven kg, perhaps. Hey, Soros. Hey, uh, Soros Miranda, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, just, uh, just started a little while ago. I was quiet in the evening. It picked up. Uh, a few non-marker fish, but hopefully, it will turn around for us. And that is a wild, I believe. He looks sick though. Because he's on his side. Let's see how big this guy is. 10 kg maybe? Uh, 7.8. Okay. Oh, my energy just, uh, wasn't keeping an eye on my energy. Go ahead and drink tea here. Could this be? It's very quiet. It's the uh, moon we can see right there. It's a little breezy though. 2.1 meter per second wind. What are you? What are you? Another wild carp. So loads of wild carps today. No burbot so far. Unfortunately, most of them are non markers. Let's see how it goes. What we have so far, we have a rough wild carps. Uh, my energy is still not increasing. I just drank tea. It's sticking it sweet. Uh, I'm not getting sturgeon on the ground bait. Uh, ooh, uh, Gerdo. Your, probably your biggest fish, a 9.5 kg black carp on a 9 kg reel. Wow. 9.5 kg black carp are a rare. And that is a very nice catch. Uh, it's worth a good amount of money too. Uh, so congrats. Nice work. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. This ground bait just hasn't worked yet. I mean, at least give us like a non-marker sturd so we know, okay, this... Ground bait is working, you know. Uh, yesterday nor today we've gotten anything. Uh, but we just started, so let's see. Nice. Please be a marker. Either a burbot or a wild. That's a nut wild. Be an eyed. That's good money too. Nice. 4.297 kg wild carp. I'll take it. Uh, decent XP too. 3600. <laughs> the outlook is bleak. Uh, uh, so we have three wild carps. As long as we can farm these uh, markers around this weight range, we should be doing pretty well. Happy to start an opening to our Spanish language region with full support if you're interested in transferring. Ugh. 
Damn, look at this guy. He's getting all the fish here. Uh, Nightcrawler. I mean, all of them are the same. Ooh, look at that. Even this guy has something on. Get this guy first. Nice. Could this be? Oh yes, a sterlet. Finally. That looks bigger than a sterlet. Okay, that is a sterlet. 2.321 kg. Finally, holy cow. Ah, uh, look at the XP. I love the XP on this thing. Always happy to see a sterlet. <laughs> Hopefully our ground bait uh, does some good for us. What is this? A wild? Tiny little wild or a bream? Oh, a white bream. Nice. Look how cool this fish looks. It looks clean and cool. It's white to blue color. That's cool. I like it. Alrighty. Look at that. Uh, one minute, two minute, four, five, eight, eleven. So it did pick up at night time. Uh, big head carp weekly world record 20 kg on the medium rod, I believe. How big did we catch yesterday? I think it was 10 kg. You see, come on. I think I might eventually throw one in the middle here as well. I'll just go here. I'll throw that rod that way. It doesn't hurt to try this entire 7.5 meter area. Uh, but from what people have been fishing, most bites have come across here, I guess. So that's why we will keep trying there. Oh, see that? Look at that. The fish on this. Maybe a sterlet, I'm hoping. Tiny fish. Nothing on these rods. Then sterlet and really tiny fish. Sometimes nibble on the lines, I have to pick them up. Check. Uh, but this is only exclusive to Sura. This is what we got yesterday. Look at that. 23.294 kg. Uh, there was an order in the cafe, but it was for, I believe, a 24.999 kg. Uh, so that was a heartbreaker. But, I mean, 23 kg, that's pretty sweet. Look at the amount of XP. That's insane. 37,000. Uh, sure thing. 
So I have the Alpha 8000. That is, the, I believe, the cheapest 8000 reel to buy. But uh, the repair takes a long time, if I remember correctly, and it is very expensive to repair. Uh, your best bet is going to be the Caliber. I also have gold, but I honestly wouldn't buy that. Even the Alpha is uh, it's better. And then my caliber right now is being uh, repaired. But that is the best one of the 8,000 reels, I would say. I hope that helps you. Caliber is obviously up front. It's very expensive. But over time, it's, uh, it's worth it. Because you're going to use these 8,000 reels for a very long time. Nice. We have fish on this. We might have a fish on our Tigara as well. Miranda, I hope that helps. Obviously, you're going to have to uh, set up your lines and rods according to that. So as you saw, my line, my rod is 30 kg or more. Uh, my line is 29 kg or 28 kg, doesn't matter. And then my leader is 22 kg. Okay, that is a decent sized wild. Okay, yeah, I will look into that. As I put this back here. That's a sterlet, I hope. Thank you for letting me know, Beluga. Uh, that is a Xander. Okay. The marker, I'll be super happy. Nope. Alright, and now we can check on our Tagara here. Uh, it could be a Sterlet. Or it could be a very tiny. I think it's still uh, playing around there. So, I don't know if I should check up on it or not. Like, let it uh, hook itself. Yeah, Miranda. Uh, it's it, it is a lot of money. There we go. Finally, being around for a long time. Yeah, I ended up buying two alphas as soon as I could buy them. Uh, but now that I'm fishing at amber and getting larger fish, I'm starting to see why caliber is uh, it's so much better. I guess why white line is better than the green especially is because you can clearly see it. Rats to who? Uh -oh. Yeah, so like for I uh, balanced my entire setup according to the caliber. Uh, basically 14 to 15 kg reel here. My line is 29 kg. My leader is 22 kg and my rod is 33. So the leader is the first thing to break if we make a oopsie and uh, max out our break and it suddenly snaps. You will lose your very expensive hook though and your leader but it's okay. It's better than losing a rod. That's the 33 kg rod. Garlic down. Anyone? Come on. We need more markers here. Oh, four wild carps markers. One sterlet. Uh, again, it's slow, but I think we're doing pretty well because uh, we already have a sterlet that's about one kg. Okay. Uh, the caliber is 1700, I think, silver. If I remember correctly, let me check my notes here.
too many pages of notes I won't know. Basically you're gonna have to save money for the caliber, then you're gonna have to save money for the rod and line and all that fun stuff. You also need to make sure that on this alpha, uh, alpha here, you, you see how on the bottom right it says line capacity. So if the line is 0.32 millimeters thick, you can have a 286 meters on it. 0.36, you can have 235. So the thicker the line, the stronger it's going to be. So this is a 0.34 millimeter 29 kg. So we can only have 258. And I think that's pretty darn good, actually. We're just slightly off. If we had a 0.32 millimeter line, I think it would have been maybe 27 kg, perhaps. And you could have had a bit more line. So you need to look at that, too. I found that out a long time later. The entire time I thought I had 300 meters of line until I think I was streaming and someone pointed it out. Come on, it's morning, it's prime time. It's prime time. Uh, let's check the cafe order in that much time. What do we have here? I have one non marker situ. I doubt the cafe is interested in that. Alrighty, Asp Standard. KG Xander. <gasps> no. We've been catching two KG Xanders like no tomorrow all these days. 41 silver. Oh, that sucks. We have three pieces. I only have one. That's fine. The uh, asp. Catching an asp will be pretty cool. Wow, look at that. 8 KG is 610 silver. These are amazing. Uh, no sterlets or anything like that. Wow, Jess, 9 kg pike. Nice. Are you at Old Berg? The fish is there. Anything but a wild carp. <laughs> uh, it's a wild carp. Some days we won't catch any wild carp, and some days that's all we will get. Well, not even a marker. Alright, so should I cast this this way now? Might as well check it out. Okay, let's check this side out. Alrighty, let's hope uh, that side pays off for us. Has anyone been to Amber recently? Like today or yesterday? Ooh, a starlet. Nice. Looks like a non-marker though. Yeah. It's promising, they're still biting. Oh, 
how's the weather so there's heavy rain tomorrow maybe we might move if it's uh, like that and we can spend a little bit of time at amber Uh, no Russian sturgeon yet. <laughs> so that island definitely had big head carps and one huge fish. Uh, it feels like that island might be a better choice if you want bigger fish. But again, that was only like what one hour fishing there or two hours of fishing there, so it's not enough to include. Uh, beluga, not much. So far we've caught a few wild carps markers and then I got a 2.321 kg sterlet. And uh, that's about it. We got a white bream. And I think you were probably here for the white bream and rough. And I've recasted our Pagara somewhere over here. Checking out different spots. Uh, it is also going to rain here, I just mentioned tomorrow, and I think one hour's time. So when the heavy rain arrives, uh, and it's very slow, we will end up moving to Amber. Uh, can we fish from this side? Like, I'd rather fish from this side, cast it here, and if the fish wants to run that way, we can all chase it. That would be pretty cool. birds honestly we need to like slingshot them They're quite down come on come up Not only is it cloudy all over Europe and Russia, apparently, because every single lake is cloudy. Uh, Kura is just a little bit warm. I believe someone said Kura is really bad. Uh, Volkov is a little warm on the sunny days. Amber is fine except for, I think, two hours later. Uh, I wanted to ask Beluga, can I cast from here? If we do get a big fish, I can walk this way or I can walk this way. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. I can walk all the way around. But I don't want to do a repeat of yesterday. If we do get a big fish. I don't think I'm going to the island. Until I have uh, a better rod setup, a reel and rod setup. Finally. What the heck is going on? Okay, well, I need to be better equipped for that island, I would say. Ooh, nice. Charlotte? Nice. Okay, okay, that's good.
Yeah, I have to move quick, but... Uh, I don't want to go through that. <laughs> That is a wild card. Yeah, I don't know that technique, so... Uh, so people are using... Uh, Oyster 20 and Caviar 16. Oh, so Caviar... Wait, I don't understand. Oyster 20 is... Um, is boily, and then Caviar 16 is the corn? But that's... Uh, that's the size. I searched caviar in the pop-up boilies and I couldn't find it. Up buying oyster 16 and oyster 20. Other pop up pop ups. Maybe I spelt it wrong. C A V I A R. Okay, so when I go back to Amber, we will uh, go ahead and look for caviar. So do you mean to say one rod has oyster, one rod has caviar, basically? Uh, you put caviar in the ground bay? Well, apparently these sturgeons are very... They don't want it. Oat flakes, black caviar, feed pellets, fish oil, chopped worm. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Jess, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. That's very thoughtful of you. Okay, perfect. So now I can uh, I can look for it. <laughs> Adam, I do not want to repeat of yesterday. The island can either be completely dead or it can be completely empty or my first fish uh, will end up spooling me. And that's a lot of damage on my brakes. Uh, that's why the caliber is... Caliber is at the repair shop. Alright, definitely a wild carp. Is it a marker though? Yeah, guys, I just, uh, I'm just gonna stay here. I don't want to go to the island. Like I said, once I'm better equipped, like, let's say I have that 23 kids you took or, you know, then I wouldn't mind taking the risk and coming here. Uh, is that a, no, that's just, uh, what is that? That's tiny. Uh, once again, thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you uh, for watching. I really hope this is entertaining. I hope I'm being entertaining. Uh, the fish are certainly never uh, giving us an easy time. <laughs> uh, 
but it's still going. We'll spend a little bit more time here until that rain comes and then we will leave for Amber. Amber and at the end of the stream, holy cow, was Amber giving us good stuff, I have to say. It started off very slow, uh, but then it just picked up for us. And I don't know how, but that was our fourth common card trophy. I was not expecting common card trophy for that matter. So uh, that's why I'm just itching to go back to Amber now. Ever put this on sale? All right, something, something has our attention. Peter is broken. I'm an. Yes, you got the trophy barbell. I was so happy that you got it. As uh, I know, like, uh, you came to Sura and you didn't get much, I think. And then previous streams too, like, you, you followed me and you don't have much luck. So I was just happy that now that you're at Amber, exact same spot that, like, you got, you got a trophy. And it's actually decent for you, so... Yeah, so basically the common carp trophy is like the most common at Amber. Then the second most common trophy is Mericarp. Uh, but for Mericarp you need 25 kg to be a trophy. So I'm just really hoping that we get a Mericarp trophy. That's our second most likely trophy to get. I mean after four common trophies, like we need to get one Mer trophy, right? You know, size one hook, you're supposed to get bigger fish. You have a higher chance of getting bigger fish, but I think it all depends on the spot. What does it want to give out to you? It's sunny now too, so. In our experience, it should be better fishing. Oh no, Jess. <laughs> uh, that sucks. I made that mistake here. Uh, Carol, uh, my caliber is being repaired right now and it's at Amber. Uh, so when I started the stream, it had about 40 minutes left to being repaired. So when we do go to Amber, I'm going to pick my caliber up. And I'm gonna uh, buy caviar boilies and then we'll have oyster and caviar boilies and we can hopefully try for another trophy at Amber. Uh, that's the reason I have my uh, backup. I have two alphas, I also have a gold ADS that I was gifted. Uh, so if for some reason we need to put two reels in uh, for a pair, we can always have one extra as backup. But yeah, that's the reason. Uh, for today, at least for Sura, I just want one big battle. And hopefully on the Tagara. 
that's what I want. Sterlet, we already have a 2.32 on Sterlet, so I'm happy with that. As long as it's above 1 kg, I'm happy. Russian Sturgeon, I'd really appreciate it if, uh, you know, it would hook on. <laughs> but I'm fine if it doesn't. I just want one big battle. And hopefully it's not a wild carp. Uh, it's going to be evening soon. So that's good. It should pick up. I was just asking if uh, if you can fish from this side of the river. Because uh, then I can avoid this island. I can just fish from this side into this 4.5 meter hole. So if we do get a big, big head or a sturgeon, we can follow it down. Uh, but I have a feeling somewhere over here it will be just too many shrubs and trees and that we cannot fish from there or this could be a cliff and uh, can't get it is there a fish on this do we miss our chance here yep there's a fish Yeah, I think it's like a cliff. Uh, right. <gasps> Yay, another sterlet. I can't tell if it's a sturgeon or a sterlet, but another 2.375 kg sterlet. Nice. Nice, very nice. I'm happy. Uh, you know what? I guess that makes sense. Uh, just locking this side away because what's the point of coming to this island here? Uh, if you can just fish from here, like no one will go to this island. Everyone will go here. So they can easily follow the fish. Uh, so that makes sense to me. Hello, hello. I believe from Russia I'm going to assume. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> And all of a sudden, in our in-game chat, we're speaking another language. <laughs> That's fine. What a journey it has been for me, though, in this game. Like, I am, I cannot believe I am uh, 326 hours in this game. I never thought I would, first of all, play a fishing game. Okay, and second of all, play a fishing game for this long. Like, I have played two fishing games in my life, I think. One, when I was a kid, when I was, I believe, in middle school, uh, during summer, I bought a fishing game, and I played that all day long. And then the second game was, I think, a few years ago. And, uh, you know, I, I enjoyed fishing. There was a lot of salmons and trout and stuff you could catch. Uh, but then as I unlocked more levels, it just got harder and harder. Like, I was bottom fishing and stuff like that, and I just couldn't figure it out. And then I just quit. And then here comes uh, Russian Fishing 4. And I don't know what about it it is, but <laughs> here I am. Uh, thank you for more brown bait. Oh, okay, there's a wall. Yeah. Uh, add another ingredient. Haven't tried this yet. Okay. I will. Oh, man. Okay. I will uh, reel one of my rods in and then I will switch the ground bait. Let me put ground bait on this. Try everything we can. Ready, let's put uh, 70 gram and uh, uh oh, which one did you just send me? Additive, oat flakes, clay, fish oil, flakes, black caviar. Okay, I don't think I have, these are the same ones. This is quality, four quality, so I don't know if that's going to bring us much. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> hopefully this goes well for you. Okay, that's the one. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, let me switch it out. Uh, yes, I've accepted it. I'll put that ground bait on. Get this. Perfect. Alrighty. Thank you, thank you for all this experimentation here with ground bait. Let's see what nighttime brings for us, guys. It is definitely a patience game. Like, I'm willing to stay patient for sure for hours. Uh, but uh, again, since I'm streaming, I can't really do that. We've been here 1 or 12 minutes. I cannot believe how long we've been here. Hell. No. Definitely need to move because this is not good enough. We have 2 turlets, 2 kg, but we're going to have to move soon. What I was thinking also was uh, I can rent a boat, anchor the boat here, and throw the bottom feeding setups. But we cannot... Uh, uh, use the assembly on the boat to have two rods out since they're bottom feeding. My region is other. I'm in the other region. Uh, since I'm from Canada, I did not select the American region, which I should have. I just ended up selecting other because I'm really honest, I guess. <laughs> Oh no, Jess. Stay in there. Yeah, sometimes uh, you do lose it. Like, I lost it a few weeks ago, right? That's why for an entire week or two weeks, I was just logging in for one hour, trying for the fish, and then leaving, and that's it. Nice sterlet, 5kg. But uh, the sterlet people are catching. Can you catch sterlet in Oktober? Because I think that's where people are. Yay. On this. This is the only rod without ground bait. Yeah, especially at Amber and Sura, like I'm very, very uh, patient because these are new regions for me. So I'm willing to stay put for a long time. There's still like fish species to dis discover. Uh, please. No, that is a wild. <laughs> oh, yes, that sucks. Especially when you spend hundreds on boilies and people are catching left and right trophies and you get nothing. Uh, that's, I think, the exact experience I had at Bear. I bought so many boilies. I asked so many people. I checked on Discord, I checked on VK, people catching golden tench left and right. And I just, I didn't get anything. So that was so frustrating. At least at Amber, even though it's very slow, like I've caught four common trophies. I've got a few 20 kg linears. I've caught three different types of rare fish. So even though I spent a lot of hours, it still makes up for it, I guess, a bit when I think about it. But bear is just barren for me. <laughs> I think we all have those days or weeks. I think something pushed our rod here.
All right, uh, guys, tomorrow morning in game time, we will fish and then we will leave for Amber. I'm not spending any more time here. Damn. Right? Doesn't it? It kills me. Like in the chat, everyone's catching red Starva carp, red Starva carp, red Starva scaly, whatnot. And I'm in that exact same spot. I just don't have PV or spot, so I feel like maybe that's why I'm not catching the fish. But I still have a chance. It's much lower than the people using PV and stuff. But I still have a chance, so that's why I'm still clinging to it. <laughs> Alright, caviar and oyster. When you say caviar and oyster, you mean two different setups, right? So like on one rod you have oyster, one rod you have caviar. So I don't think I can have two... Oh, double boilies. Okay, 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 okay. Now I remember. Alright, double boily setup. No corn, I guess. And what will the dip be? Yeah, again, guys. Something nibbled on our ground bait, but it's just uh, not hooking in. Oh, no, we have it. Oh, no, we don't. Never mind. Someone nibbled on it, and then they just left, so that put a slack on our line. Okay, two pop-up boilies, and what will I use as the dip? Ninety-seven thirty. Perfect. Oh, I can't wait. That pond area. Uh, Beluga, unfortunately, no luck with the ground bait. We have this original one you made, and then we have your new modified mix. And uh, the sturge. Oh, should I pick this up? Because that amber, you pick it up when it's like this. But for now, I'm just not going to pick it up. Oh, dip is oysters and crabs as well. Okay, got it. Uh, oyster. Oh. Perfect. So I'm going to spend more money on boilies and stuff. But as long as we get something. Got the trophy level. Heavy dude, what do you have? Oh, 2 kg. See? You see? Something was on it. And uh, it just fed it out. I know, you have Beluga, you have far better luck than I do. Because uh, I believe yesterday before you were catching so many sterlets, you got, what, uh, a sturgeon as well, and here I am. Uh, just uh, not much. Uh, let me actually make sure for my bottom. My classic rig is full 3 out of 3. That's good. Our spinning reel 3 inline is 3 as well. But right now we are using inline rig. So that's not it. Carp rod, I think I'm using carp rod. Do we, should I invest a point in this? We here, mega carp, mega carp, and this is tuna carp, carp rod. I think I might as well spend a point in the, our carp rod here. Yeah, you also go to the island, that's why it works for you. So good. I kind of want to go to the island and take that risk, but there's no point moving now. I'm happy with this spot. I've caught so many different things here. Early to one sturgeon, but I know uh, this is my best chance here. 
I wonder if anyone tries at that 8 meter spot. Uh, should I recast one rod and throw it straight here? This one is casted a little bit on that side. Or oh, right over here. Uh, loop rig. Loop rig. That is, okay. That is when I unlock it. Yeah, because everyone says loop rig is really good. Uh, so that's, I guess, what I'm going to go for next. <laughs> Second at Trophy Cruising Carp. Uh, not even the odd burbot. Like, we've only caught one burbot so far. And that is just... Wow, 10 kg. Bro, look at that. It's only a matter of time before we can get a 10 kg one. <laughs> Gonna recast this. Be too slow. All right, we have one here. There we have. on it. I think it's moving perhaps. Wow. 
well, let the morning come. Ah, let's see the weather. Ooh, the heavy rain's coming soon. You know what? It should be amazing fishing right before a big uh, rainstorm. But I don't know if the developers have gone this deep into the game where weather affects fishing that much. All I know is any negative weather effects, the developers have definitely implemented them. <laughs> Description not found. Quality. is absolutely dead i think it's not even uh, i don't know i don't even want to stay here anymore as uh i don't think we're gonna get anything so let's go ahead and just sell hello beluga hello once again unfortunately fishing at sura did not work out for us today is actually the worst day we've had every day we've got something interesting uh but just not today uh, wow, look at that sterlet. 27 silver for 2.37 kg. Another 26 silver here. 20 silver wild carp. Nice. Uh, how long have we been here? One and a half hour. One and a half hour is 129 silver. Again, that's just... That's not good. Uh, so we are going to cut our trip extra short here. Uh, not too extra short, actually. Just short. Go ahead and see if we have anything on our rods. Let's get out a lot of here. Let's do amber. Sorry, Beluga. I cannot stay any longer. Uh, Gary Doe. My skill tree for what? For bottom? Uh, it's up to you what you want to use. A spinning reel, 100%. Max that, that out because in for spinning and bottom, you're going to use spinning reel. And then simple bottom rig, you want to max that out because you're going to use that a lot. Then uh, feeding with the feeder rod. I don't use feeder rods anymore, so I think that's a big waste. Uh, I went into inline and uh, carp rod. And pop up is your first boily setup. I hope that helps. Uh, okay. I will look at his guide another time, but for now, let's just clamber. 31 silver. Uh, I think I mentioned this before. Uh, you know that other game that's really popular, the fishing game, that everyone knows about? What is it? It's a free to play, but it's apparently like more grindy. So every map you go to, you gotta pay, and then you have to pay for a license too. That's only valid for like amount you pay it's like for two real life hours you can fish or for three real life hours you can fish for something like that here you do i really hope that helps uh fishing planet or something yeah i was looking at a topic from like a year or two ago and people were like oh fishing planet every lake or map you go to you have to pay and in russian fishing for you don't have to do that i'm like yeah maybe two years ago you didn't now you do. Let's looky here. Oh, that's 11 kg for uh, silver. Uh, Mericarp, 4 kg. Okay, these are very good orders, but there is one hour on this one and 26 minutes on this one. 
Let's get our... Oh no, four minutes left? Are you serious? Ah! Okay, you play Fishing Planet? How is Fishing Planet? What I need is... Pop-ups... Uh... Caviar. Ah, oh, there we go. Do I need... Done. Yeah, we are 60. That's what we have. Let's go ahead and buy. All right. Money going down the drain here. Oyster. Let's buy a few more oyster as well. Oyster 20, I believe. We're going to be back to 9,000. Damn. And then a dip is... Alrighty. Oyster and crab. Two. Yeah, that's way too grindy, isn't it? Not only do you have to pay for going to the maps, but for fishing... For as long as you pay, that's just way too much. I don't plan on going to Fishing Planet, honestly. it's uh, It doesn't sound nice. And I just cannot start another fishing game. Like, I already have started... Uh, what a second. The Fisher Online, and I don't even think I'm going to play that for much. Only like while on stream, I think that's pretty much it for me. 39, 27, we round set up here. Six, carp hook, uh, that's what I'm going to use here. Alrighty, double boily. That is a very expensive method because you're using two boilies per cast. So we need... Oyster 20, then we need caviar, are you saying caviar, caviar 16, then we need oyster and crab a a dip, nice. Alrighty, and this is 30 clip. So I'm just doing this right before we rent out our ATV. So I don't have to go through this mess once, you know, I'm all at the fishing spot and just impatient. Pop up. A caviar. Wow, this is some uh, some very specific stuff here. That's crazy. Okay, one sixty two seventy eight. That is the pond, correct? Uh, pond like area that we were at yesterday. That's exactly where I'm going. Wow, this takes time. So much money. Right, it is already morning. Alrighty. Holy cow, we are set. Alright, Jess, I really hope uh, it works out for you. I really hope it's working for you. Uh, in the Russian text, I cannot tell your name, but I hope it's working for you as well. Uh, only two and a half minutes, guys. I want to wait. I know I'm sorry, but uh, we need to wait. I need to wait. Two minutes only. For this stupid thing. Done. So I just saw a meme at VK. It's like, the uh, you know the Travolta? Where he's standing waving his hand. It's like, what? 
Where'd everyone go? What's happening? You know that one, that meme? So they basically took a screenshot of this right here, Amber. They put Travolta here and the text, uh, the title says, when you move servers uh, three days before the, the update. I don't know if anyone got that. I sort of butchered it. Uh, but basically someone, uh, I guess, transferred over to the Russian server. And then they... Okay, you're going Amber too. Everyone's going Amber. All right, Amber party. We can start a friendly competition if anyone wants. Just free of charge. There doesn't need to be money. I've lost too much money. How much am I? I'm just over nine grand right now. Uh, still two minutes. Why is this so slow? We'll be completed in two hours. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the real. Thanks, Jess. Minutes. Uh, think we can get anything from here? I think I just ended up wasting a boilie. When I bring it back, won't the boilie be used? <laughs> it's gonna take you 30 minutes to load. I hope uh, your computer doesn't explode in the process. I hope it does it quickly. For my sake, just tell him. H1N1 is asking for it. Weekly record scaleless ghost carp 5.768 kg. Holy cow. When you see stuff like that, it's like, okay, Amber, someone's making Amber work and we need to get there. And I check, oh, it doesn't tell me the time. Oh, we have a fish on. Nice, what could this be? Free fish. Ah. Probably a gibble or something. Oh no, it's a common. Nice. A 3kg common. There you go. That was worth it. Isn't there a restaurant order for this? No way. No way. It was an order that was about to expire. Did we make it in time? Uh, no, we missed it. Dang it. There's an order here, I think. I was about to expire. Uh, we're too late. Okay. Alright, workshop. One minute remaining. Why? This timer is very slow. L. Patch. Russian Sturgeon 31 KT. Holy cow. That's what we have to catch. Maybe half that size though, on our reel. <laughs> uh, if you're just tuning in, I'm just waiting one minute here for my caliber to uh, be completed. And then we are gonna go all the way up to uh, this pier number three here, cast into this 4.5 meter hole. Yesterday I got a common carp trophy, just got a barbell trophy. Right now, it seems like the entire fleet is headed there. Everyone's going here. <laughs> uh, so let's see what we get today. Uh, unfortunately, Sura was it, it was just devastating to us. Uh, I did not give us much. Just slower than a second. That's very shady of them to do. Uh, can I, do I need to buy anything here? Pickles, I think I have enough pickles. Pickles I can always make while I'm standing there fishing. Unfortunately, I cannot make tea. I need to be at a campfire. That's the only annoying thing. Come on, come on. Seven seconds. Can't wait, I can't wait to fish. More a little bit of rain. Hopefully that doesn't kill the fish.
think it's been 27 seconds. No, it hasn't. See how slow this is? This is the scam. It's like one and a half seconds in game is one second, I think. Or it's something, something weird like that. This is, this is going according to the in game time and not real time seconds. One zero. Okay, can I can I have it now, please? Caliber. Okay, thank you. Uh, fixed. Perfect. Uh, what am I doing here? Let's change this out with our caliber. Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> Your computer's st <laughs> still not loaded, huh? Cat. Common barb. Nice. Alright, another 9 silver for the for the slow ATV. Alright, let's get out of. Finally, our fishing adventure can start. I really hope it's, uh, it's like... At the end of the stream, fishing yesterday. Yesterday, by the end of the stream, we were cat catching good fish. We were catching a trophy, and uh, that's the type of fish I want to do today. <laughs> I'll take it thirty minutes. Really, that really sucks. I think your hard drive is. Uh, Oh, you know what? It's either your hard drive or your internet. Because uh, it loads the level through your hard drive and you need the internet to load your profile and all that stuff, I believe. I'm really not sure, but either of the two or maybe both combined. Just making our way. Who knows, maybe I'll catch a trophy by the time you load into Amber. <laughs> uh, I really want a Mer trophy. Or this red scaly trophy. Beetle carp. Looks like Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild, that hunting game. Kinda looks like that. Okay. Unfortunately, I guess uh, you need to upgrade your system. Because it's. Uh, <laughs> you're spending more time waiting than you are playing. I always thought 60 centimeter liter was the best to get trophies. That's why I only use 60 centimeter, but uh, yes, you said 45 centimeter, that's why I'm using 45, or else I would have gone with 60. Basically, you have a higher chance of getting a trophy when you have a 60 centimeter liter, but you have a higher chance of unhooking the fish. Nice. Okay, so on the caliber, I haven't set a... a clip. That might have been a mistake. Alrighty, fishing at Amber, finally, finally, finally. Let's reel this in a little bit here. Alrighty. Uh, I definitely want to. You know what? Never mind. 
Did we throw uh boilies? <clears throat> five boilies or five pellets? Can I use pellets? I haven't unlocked pellets yet. We can use oyster. I have oyster. Oyster 16 and, and 20. So I can throw out oyster 16 because since I'm using 20 right now, let me know if that's a good idea. Should I throw in 16? Our very first fish. And confidently say, comfortably say that this is a marker fish and not like a 1kg mercarp. <laughs> I don't have pellets, I can throw 5 boilies. Uh, since I'm using size 20 oyster boilies, I was thinking maybe I can throw in 5 size 16 oyster boilies. Alright, first fish of the day. Nice, a common. A 9 kg common. Okay, that is a good start. That wasn't... I did not throw too far out. That's fine. All right, so uh, we've been here maybe one minute and uh, we already have a 9 kg carp. That's great. Adam or level 18, one good reel, one good rod. Thank you, Adam. Uh, yeah, we all start from that one uh, final rod and reel that you get, which are nice. And then as you build up money, you can uh, upgrade to your second and third good rods set up. Uh, so right now I am saving up 17,000 silver uh, for the Tagara, which is, uh, hold on, I'm tired of guessing it wrong. Yeah, the Tagara is a 26.5 kg reel and it's 17,000 silver. Uh, not to mention I have to buy a rod and line and all that stuff. So after I buy that Tagara, my one rod and reel and all that setup is going to be far better than my other two. So I'll have to keep saving up money to upgrade the other two over time. Uh, so I think that's how we all go. So it's no worries if you have only one good setup so far. I looked at the game, what boilies are you using? Uh... I'm using double boily setup, oyster, oyster 20, and uh, crab yard 20. Oyster and crab dip. I'm really hoping this is work. This works. I really, really hope so. Uh, as I've learned, for some people, it'll work amazing, and for other people, it won't work at all. Caspian brown trout 65 kg. I've never seen or heard that of, of that fish, so. Hello, T. Uh, T. Tres? Tres Crop. How's it going? Thank you for tuning in. We are finally at Amber. Sura kicked our butt today. 
Uh, so we're hoping Amber uh, gives us its digital delights. We got a trophy, trophy common carp here on stream last night. Let's hope we can get something better today. Uh, we are using different boilies though. That's been working for people today, so. Caviar 16. Okay, we used Caviar 16. Damn, Chris, 35 kg mirror. Heck yes. I would love that. Uh, how is the spot working for me? It's, uh, it's okay. I've been hit three minutes. We've got a 9 kg carp and a 3.3 kg common. Both. Uh, this third one, I just, uh, Disregard that fish. That's not from here. Uh, so let's find out. I just got here, so I don't know if it's going to be good or bad for me. I hope it's, it'll be amazing. Chris, that's an amazing mare you have there. I really hope I can get that size on the Tagara. 18.5 kg though. Uh, yesterday we got the com common trophy on the Tagara and it was an only 9 minute battle. Such a big difference between the Caliber and Alpha and the Takara. Uh, it could also be the spot. That carp went like this and it went like that. It was really easy for us to just walk here and keep reeling it in. Alright, again our middle rod, our weakest setup here. A mirror, perhaps. Okay, that's good. Something other than common. 4.7. No, no red scale yet. <laughs> uh, I really want the red Cheeto fish. But instead we got a 22 kg common carp trophy, which I will take happily. Uh, but really, I, I want the rare fish, especially the red one. So yesterday, for everyone who hasn't seen it yet, uh, we got this 23.294 kg at this exact same spot on garlic muscle 20 and flavor green. Uh, still waiting for the reds. Yeah, it was just two kilos under the cafe order or else I would have made about 300 silver from the cafe order. And people are catching uh, barbell trophies here like crazy as well. <clears throat> Nothing from my other two rods yet. See this one again. What's with this rod? Getting all the fish. Sura unfortunately was really bad. Uh, I did get in one and a half hours I got three sterlets. Uh, 2 kg. Around 2 kg mark and then one sterlet was 1 kg. And that was about it. Hardly any marker fish. So it was really bad. I was going to stay a little bit longer, but then I decided, you know what, it's way too slow. Uh, might as well move to Amber since uh, people are doing well today as well. 6.9 kg. So there is either I'm throwing this in the right spot or what, but this rod is getting everything here. Holy cow, Chris. Some of you guys just do insanely well. 
a 4.75 kg linear ghost uh, from this spot today. Okay, I am going to set this because I forgot to set it after switching to the caliber. This is 30 clip and I am going to... I guess this ball works. I'll just throw it there for the best. Uh, are you using the same boilies as I am? And should I uh, throw like Oyster 16 with my blink shot? I have Oyster 16 I can throw. Yeah, PVA. For some people, PVA works. For some people, PVA doesn't work. For some people, spot rods work. For some people like me, I have no option, so I have to make this work. <laughs> yes. Uh, eight minutes so far, we have four fish. Uh, but still, decent size too. Let's hope it continues on, it gets better. Uh, black caviar dip. People are having luck on that, so I just uh, I went with that. Okay, thirty clip. Do a little bit to the left because he throws to the right. Oh, okay, cool. One of them dropped right in the middle there. All right. I'm thinking, should I switch one of the rods to a 20 uh, muscle and whatever that is, the other one? Or like a muscle, yes. I'm gonna switch one out to garlic and muscle. Uh, garlic and muscle 20. Twenty. Artificial corn is at uh, this setup yesterday worked really well. That's how we got our trophy. I'm gonna try it on this. Okay, so you're using garlic and muscle 20 on one of them, uh, only corn on the second, and tuna 16 on third. That looks like a healthy combo. I've used all of those combos recently. And honey dough without any ground bait on inline setup has worked. Got all those rare fish for me. And uh, the garlic and muscle 20 has worked as well. Uh, it's just, uh, it's on Amber now. Wants to give us... Anyone look back? I like the tires. That's this I don't know what, what else to do. Garlic and muscle and this new. Uh, how is the temperature? Uh, so it's a little bit of rain tomorrow. Today is clear. I'm hoping evening time uh, it really picks up for us. Oh yeah, I forgot I threw five boilies, so I think this ground bait one is enough. Six maximum.
Okay, tuna might be smaller. But it's fine. Mm. Holy cow, did it uh, die down for us. I really want to t try just honey dough by itself. I feel if I'm gonna get a red scaly, it's gonna be on honey dough. Uh, but the rare fish that I've caught, two of them were on this spot here from this island. But I always have that in the back of my mind. Should I go here and try honey dough again? Caliber. Something here. Yay! Alpha once again. That is... Bummer. That's fine. Have here. Dead silent for you too, huh? So weird. Hopefully it, uh, the switch turns on as evening rolls in. Just like yesterday, it was very slow initially, but it picked up a lot later on in the day. It could be uh, maybe once this rain is coming in, right before this, the fish just start biting again. Or maybe after the rain it picks up, I don't know. <laughs> the grocery shop is upstairs. It's, uh, it's, I believe it's this building here. This building. Yesterday I was trying to make tea and I couldn't find it and it's right here. It's hard to explain it in text, but I'm just showing this on stream. Hopefully you can wait a little bit. And you will see. And once again, uh, the alpha is just going nuts. And I think we finally have something on our caliber as well. <laughs> uh, you know what? The driving is decent. I'm surprised. I'm happy it's not clunky or very off. Uh, I'm out of the car and I hate the car in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the one downside of a big map like uh, Amber. Like, that's why I love Belea so much. All the spots are just right there. It takes seconds to get to each spot. Something is still playing around here. I guess this is a tiny fish. You're bream even. What size fish? Uh, so the Tagara on the Muscle 20 still has nothing on it. It's only a matter of time before uh, the trophy is on that. On that rod. KG seven KG B. Again. All right. All right. Nice. Uh, so this oyster, oyster caviar dip is uh, certainly working right now. Other
that you're looking at the region form a flood of trophy posts from this spot i know even for chris it went quiet so like uh that's i think been uh, the new frustrating thing another addition to the list here uh people are, are getting trophies left and right and you can see it in the chat but for yourself and for the i guess for chris and jess as well it's just quiet and uh I don't know. The difference in RNG is huge, or it could be difference in servers, or what? I don't. I don't get it. I'm really hoping it picks up in the evening. <laughs> I know, right? It's just I don't get it. I think not knowing why that happens is also very frustrating. I'm trying to understand the game better. Like, what about the weather affects the fish here? People say chilly and sunny is, you know, good for trolling and stuff. But then I just see people, oh, Kura is dead. Kura is doing really bad. But according to what's said, it shouldn't be that way. Okay, decent sized fish. Probably 5, 6 kg, I hope. I just want to see red color when a fish pops up. 6.3 kg. Nice. Yeah, people do camp uh, like the entire day. Uh, they have this game on. That's my assumption. Like the entire day they have this game on and you know they're at home either working from home or they're in school so they have no school right now they just play all day but then again like some people are like oh yeah i've been two hours here and i got this trophy like okay well you lucked out oh someone messaged all right beluga uh where do i get the oyster and caviar and i can only find the oyster uh C A V C I A R. Caviar is 16, is 1. Boily. Okay. Oyster 20 is another. O I L I E. Boily. Hello, CCCP. How's it going? Thank you. Uh, Chris. I went 2155 for a bit yesterday, caught a bunch for 30 minutes, and the spot just died. Uh, basically, this spot was very quiet yesterday when we arrived. And later on, it just turned on. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that now that it's dead, hopefully evening time or maybe tomorrow morning, it just picks up again. It has to, I hope so. Look at that, scaleless albino carp 11 kg. Congratulations, uh, caps man. We hope to share the fortune. Hey, Artigari something. Please be, please be a trophy. Please. This is on uh, the garlic and muscle 20. Uh, all of them, yes, they are pop ups. They're pups. Yes, they are. Not a trophy, but at least we have a fish on this guy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What are you? Please be red. No, you're common. Tiger gonna pop up. I heard for some people it works, for some people it doesn't work. So I, I don't know. One sixty two or one sixty nine seems to be best at the moment, according to someone here. Uh, we're gonna stay put at the spot. We're gonna keep trying these boilies. Uh, it is here. Let me let me confirm this. It's size twenty oyster, 
by 16 caviar. Okay, decent size. Someone's using two potatoes and one garlic and mussel. <laughs> I mean, on the weeklies, there is a garlic and mussel for those rare fish as well. Oh, I want to try honeydew as well, but we need to give these boilies all we've got first. Some days honey dough is seriously good. Some days, uh, like yesterday, garlic and mussel was really good. Today, apparently, uh, oyster 20 and caviar 16 is doing well. So everyone has different stuff that's working for them. I think all of these boilies and combinations are working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. I don't remember. I just blindly bought it. Bought it. It is a lot of money, but... Well, I guess it is caviar. No, it's oyster and crabs in your dip. They're expensive. But somehow I've been uh, still making money, so... And that is a fat mare, perhaps. Bite. All it can. I hope this is 10 kg. Please be a 10 kg. Oh yeah, 10.919 kg. Nice. About time. I hope it picked up a little bit at least for you guys. Chris and Jess. Yeah, I don't know. The sucky thing is like, uh, you might move to the spot someone else is having luck at, but you won't get that luck. That's when people say, oh yeah, this spot's working, that spot's working. I just, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't bother. Because it doesn't guarantee I will get good stuff there. I do want to go back to our Pier 1 spot and the Silent spot. Uh, the Island spot, we've spent a lot of time on stream here. We've got three trophy comments from the spot. So definitely eventually sometime wanna go there. Then here twenty seven minutes, not a whole lot of fish, but all of them are markers and we've had ten, nine, eight, seven, six, six, six KG fish. No barbels yet. Perhaps during the evening. Uh, I'm using inline, uh, no ground bait. Yeah, like this guy, look, I need to. <clears throat> and this ghost carp, this 8kg one was on salmon 20, but the 4kg one I caught, if I remember, was on honey. Yeah, I think uh, that's about it. This is honey dough too, 3 kg honey dough. But this honey dough I caught, I believe, at this 5 meter mark. That's Paul. 
If you have loop, I think that's better, apparently. Oh no, you bought me a bell? Uh, Beluga, you did not have to, but thank you so much. I'm gonna have one different sounding bell and I don't know how that's gonna go. Happy with what I have, I don't... There's no reason to spend 17 silver for a single bell. Uh, when I need every penny to save up for... Cigara. Chris, I hope that... That helps. Just honey dough, that's it. Uh... In line for me. Yay, 16 kg mirror, nice. Okay, that's promising. Hopefully it's a repeat of yesterday, a slow start, but then it picked up. Hey, this fish has a little bit of a fight to it. Nothing we can't handle. That is a Maricarp. Looked like a common at first. 5.65 kg. Okay, it's a lot harder than uh, I was supposed to. Let's try this around Bell. Uh, it's gonna remind me of like, I don't know, cows coming home or something. I think this might be that one. Oh, that bell. <laughs> That looks so weird. It's under the rod. That's very weird. I like these ones because you can see them jingle too. Let's try this out. Luga, thank you for the belts. I don't need it. I'm I'm really happy with these starter ones, really. Twenty kg Mericarp. Nice. Five kg off. Uh the trophy mark. Five kg. Who knows? Maybe those boilies I threw in. Maybe they're helping. Although I don't feel like it. No, not the square bell. <laughs> Alright, so we have a cowbell too. So which rod which rod is gonna be the cow rod? Uh let's see here. I think I'll put the caliber on that. Oh, what's the weather like? Yeah that not a whole lot of rain. I think it's gonna be a little bit of rain. But it is definitely coming. And I have no idea if that's going to switch on the fish or switch it off. I mean, it's they're already switched off right now. <laughs> the beluga can't take. Oh boy. Yeah, he hates them. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm happy I'm content with these. As annoying as they are when all three of them are ringing at once, I mean, that's the whole point of them. Yeah, 
guess that is. It, uh, it was not necessary. But, uh, thanks. Thanks for that. If I do ever get premium, I can always send it back if, if I'm not using it. Uh, but I do appreciate them. Thank you. Oh, oh, that's such a weird sound. I am not used to that. Not the alpha. No, not the alpha. Why? Why the alpha? Why? Ah. Uh. All right, Beluga, thank you so much for the bells. Uh, let's see, you know what? Maybe it's because of this bell you gifted is uh, why we got this fish on. Yeah, I chose the lucky rod. <laughs> Maybe if I put that cow bell on, well, we might catch a cow, a huge sized fish. Okay, this fish was fighting pretty hard, but all of a sudden it's quiet down. Let's see what happens here. Could be a trophy barbel. Who knows? <laughs> Dijon. Yes, it's easy to confuse because uh, I think majority of us have the starter bells on. Like if someone's streaming and you're hearing it and your game is on, you're like, oh no, I have a fish on. But no, it's uh, it's Mr. H1 with the fish. Alright, so this fish, uh, wow. Very odd, isn't it? Initially, I thought we were going to have a long fight, but I spoke too soon. Wow, brain, common ghost carp. Nice. Yeah, I think this might be our biggest fish of the day. It is the alpha though. I don't know how big this might be. Not a trophy definitely, but uh, still. <laughs> yeah, with three different bells, I'm going to have a uh, circus here. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm shift pressing two. So we are, our character is doing his best here. Oh, okay, 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 I got it. Yeah, that's a good way actually. Yeah, yeah, like you're running to the cafe and all of a sudden it's like bling, 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 bling. You know, the bell starts going off and you're not sure if it's me or if it's you. All right, are you here yet? Ooh, that is a nice mirror. All right, come on, bud. You tired out very quick. Very quick. Oh, no, that is not a mirror, guys. That's a leather, I think. It had that hump back. Uh oh. Look at that. That's a leather, isn't it? Nice. That is super nice. Bad boy. Uh, 13.54 kg leather. Oh, yeah, that is sweet sauce. Nice. <laughs> I'm happy with that. We don't catch much of uh, leather carps, so to get one, pretty good. If only I can uh, place this damn rod down. All 
perfect. Oh boy. Why? Give it back. There we go. I need I need a bite on my other one so I can replace the cowbell. Chris, did you just get a trophy mericarp? Holy cow! Congratulations! Wow! Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Dijon. Thank you, Greedo. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's uh, it's really nice. You guys are awesome. Uh, Beluga, you are stuck in a hole with your uh, quad. I am not sure how I can help you. I can, uh, I can throw a line at you. I'll pull you out. 25 kg, hot damn. Uh, what rig am I using? I'm using the alpha. I hope you can see this. Uh, so it's the Alpha 8000. Okay, I have a 28.5 kg line, power braided. I have a 27.2 kg uh, lead core. I have a 22 kg braided line here, and this is red color for the carps because the ground here is uh, is clay. Then I'm using uh, APX reactive shank number two. Uh, this hook hasn't lost any fish yet. Uh, that's why I'm just keeping this one. And I'm using Oyster 20 Caviar 16 and Oyster and Crab. I hope that answers your question. I hope this is on screen long enough for you to uh, see it. You just got a Alpheus Spino Carp. What? Dude, if he's getting these rare fish on Honeydew, holy cow, we need to, ch guys, we need to change one of the rods to Honeydew. That's just insane. Uh, 25 kg is very nice. Damn. Alright, so our Tagara is getting something here. I hope it's a big fish. I think I'm going to put the honey dough on our caliber. And I'm going to leave this as uh, muscle 20 because this has a chance of getting a trophy. And that's sweet. Two trophies in one day. And uh, what happened? Fish on it? Oh man. It could be a bream even. Alright, so let's uh, switch the caliber out. We're in line here. Line. Fight indicator. This cowbell brings all the boys to the yard. Uh, 322. A WG hook. Uh, honey dough, and that's it. Alrighty. Oh no, no honey dough. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we can make a musical out of this. As long as we get three fish on. <laughs> uh, you didn't see the lead core? Okay, I'll show you here. Uh, the lead core is 27.2 kg uh, Simmons Brown. Chris, hopefully someone gifts you if you need it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. Let's see here. Okay, I think I've had it enough. I really hope that's enough for you. Oh, someone got something else. 27 kg. Guys, seriously, so many trophies coming out of Amber. So many rare fish coming out of Amber. And everyone, I believe, is at this spot. So we have to get something. 
Jazz, uh, Chris, as well as Beluga. I hope we all get something good here. Uh, we have a 13 kg leather carp, we have 10 kg mirror carp, we have 9 kg common carp, then we have 8, 7, 6, 5 carps. Very welcome. I uh, remember when yesterday there was a sign it spells you for having good luck today. What? Man. I know, right? It's insane. Yeah, not sure if uh, he is at 162. I know there are people moving to like one or two different spots. Uh, so I think it's only a matter of time uh, before we get some trophy or a big fish here, all of us. Because uh, the spot is giving and it's in live time as well. So these people in our chat, they're getting it right now as we speak. It's not like they were here two hours ago when the weather or some other conditions were different. I'm sorry, Beluga, I don't understand. I'm having... He was at 92.77. I have no idea where that is. Uh, but I kind of don't want to move from here. Because the buy rate is slow, but we're still getting some. You're at that spot, okay. 92.77. Where is 92.77? Does anyone know? Is it like G... Nine or I wonder if anyone's taken a boat out to these islands. Actually, I don't think there is boat rental. Uh, thirty meter is the clip. Either way, guys, there's so many people catching trophies at this spot that we have to try it. I have three different setups. Honey dough. I have oysters and caviar. Then I have garlic and mussels. Yes, Adam, Nightcrawler is expensive. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This bar, right? All of my rares came from this spot, casting this way, towards the one, uh, number one here. We can stay here for like, you know, till uh, tomorrow afternoon, like one hour maybe, and then we can move there. Or if this spot is really bad, we can eventually move there. I think my rental time is about to be, isn't it? Uh, I have two minutes on the rental. That's not happening. All right, it's, it's the tuba right here. Something decent here. E8. Okay. Something decent here. We're going to be super aggressive with this guy. We don't give him time. Never mind. Fish is not having it. I'm so happy when our Tagara gets pushed. Because I know that is definitely a bigger fish. I'm hearing two different bells right now. And we have fish in all of our ro rods. Oh, something is pulling our alpha. Oh no. Oh no, we need to do this quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, good, good, good. Only when the fish is moving away from us, it's gonna <clears throat> push our alpha there. Doesn't look too big though. Oh no. 
I don't want to get spooled. I don't want to get spooled. Hurry up, hurry up. So let's move towards this guy here. Oh no, we are just at the corner too. Holy cow, that's a big fish. Oh no, please Alpha, please. At least the guy is running over to that side. That looks like a big fish. Hope a 10 kg, 15 kg perhaps. Too far, too far, too far. God damn it. That was a big mistake. That was a super big mistake. I shouldn't have done that. That is not a trophy. Damn, Beluga's got a fish on too. Guys, should I put this down? I, I don't want my alpha to uh, get uh, get spooled here. Alright, that fish has stopped for now. That was such a stupid mistake on my part. Oh my god, calm down with the messaging. Like, definitely, whatever this is, it's bigger than whatever it is on the alpha, but... Oh, that's such a mistake. Damn it, we almost had that stupid fish. Alright, we're gonna have to play the slow game of bringing him in. If I got spooled, that's, uh... A leader and a hook gone. A trophy? Uh, it took me a 22 kg common carp trophy 9 minutes on the Tagara. So for this to be a trophy, it's... Uh, it's I don't know. Uh, the fins and stuff on the carp did look worn out like it's a trophy, but I doubt this is a trophy. That alpha is giving me a lot of stress right now. Oh, come on. Ah, why do you do this to me? Why? Maybe this is a trophy. We just made that stupid mistake initially and we could have had him. Okay, at least the fish on my alpha is screwing around in, uh, in this pond here. And it's not going out. As soon as it leaves this tributary or whatever the correct uh, term is, I am uh, going to get spooled. Well, this is exciting. Finally. Hey, I hope it's a trophy. I hope it's 19 kg, whatever it is. Okay, finally this guy's here. He's been toying with us. Okay, should I walk back to land? Holy cow, no freaking way. Oh my god. No. That was way too easy, guys. Way too easy. Holy cow. Five common carp trophies, guys.
there hasn't been a fish in this game where it's been this easy to catch. I looked at the fins and I'm like, you know what? This guy looks like he's, uh, his fins are kind of, <laughs> well, this fish is screwing around. Uh, did that seriously take us 14 minutes? No way. That took us like five, six minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. All right, now we have to play around with this fish. Wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Uh, wow, what a day. And it's only been, uh, it's only been, okay, it's been one hour at Amber. Oh, what did we cast that on anyway? That was on oyster and, uh, oyster and caviar. We have another fish on this one. However, thankfully he is not leaving this tributary. <laughs> now give me money. Uh, thank you, Chris. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Uh, who still is not getting the fish beluga? I think you are still getting uh, still getting spooled, huh? You definitely have trophy fish. Our alpha is just getting pushed. I'm so happy that was on the Tigara. Oh my god. All right, the cows are uh, cows are coming home right now. Uh, we need to tend to the cows as well. Uh, this fish, holy cow, is he's just not coming in. I don't know if I should stay here or if I should uh, start walking on land here. Uh, I have over half of my line now. So far, I'm good. I think when I hit halfway mark, then I start to freak out and then I start walking out. But I'm worried if I start walking this way, he's gonna, he's gonna run this way then. I'm gonna go around if I start walking this way here. Right now, he's just stuck over there and I want him to just stay there. Another trophy? I don't know. This is the, the alpha. It's the weakest reel we have. So to be a trophy, it needs to push. It needs to overheat our alpha. Uh, but again, this fish is stuck here. So maybe, maybe it might be a trophy. Who knows? Oh man. I know this is highly unlikely, but what if it's like a rare ARP trophy, like a ghost trophy or the red starva? Lock in for life. Hot damn. Red Star Wars card. Right as I'm talking, he gets a 4.9 kg one. Now, what is this on? This is on our boilie here. Daily red. Chris, what did you get? Did you get that scaly red? Yeah, dreams. <laughs> All right, we have a musical going on with the rods, uh, but nothing is getting spooled there, so uh, it's fine. Those fish can wait. Oh, you're blocking. Okay. Again, I apologize every time. I don't remember your name <laughs> and game name. Okay, so you're the one with the, with the red. Yeah, I am mad, Chris. Block. Of course I'm mad. You're getting all the fish. Muscle 16. Okay, that's good. Uh, like I said previously, it's all a matter of time before I get it. Before you guys get it. Look at that. Common ghost carp. Nice. Yeah, you know what, guys? This is definitely a big fish because uh, even now it's... Uh, it's not having... It's not giving us anything here. I'm so happy. While I'm reeling this in, 
when Amber was locked for me, everyone was catching trophies at Octuba. Octuba was on fire. I remember every day on the Discord. And I was like, oh man, I so badly want to go to Octuba. And as soon as I unlocked Amber, boom, Amber went on fire. And I'm so happy uh, right as I unlocked it. Man, Beluga is, uh, is getting it. I'm so happy, guys. Like it was, it was slow, and then all of a sudden, boom. Yes, are you, are you getting fish too? I see, you just got a five kg common. Even if you don't, you're gonna get it soon. If I can get it without PVA or spot, uh, so can anyone else. Definitely taking his time. I'm also pressing shift, guys. So I'm being a little bit unpatient with this fish. Impatient. Oh, wait, in impatient, right? Impatient. I am. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully I'm praying I don't unhook it. Okay, you think it's 20 kg plus? I hope so. I mean, it is taking quite a bit of time, which is good. And the only, I think the only reason we haven't been overheating or we're close to getting spooled is because this fish, the entire time, you, it's uh, facing over here. That's why we've been safe. This spot's really good in terms of fighting big fish. Nice, this fish has given up the teams. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Please don't forget to like uh, stream here. I hope I've been entertaining. I hope the fish have been entertaining. I know it definitely the last half hour. It's been really good. And I hope it continues this way. Uh, tomorrow, once again, a reminder. I will be streaming uh, the Fisher Online. I'm a, I have a brand new account on that. I've only caught one fish on that account. Uh, so it will be a fun journey. Every big fish I get will be such a happy, happy uh, squeal from me. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are reeling this fish in. I think it's done. Got two more rods to tend to. Now I'm going down. Wow, Amber is just been amazing past week. So many rare things coming out. Is Amber always like this or is this just like a, a once per every few months thing? You know, like Kurai a few weeks ago, Kurai was amazing. I think it's been a month now, but for the last, last month, it's been very cool. Yeah, it is curious, right? This is, <gasps> it's a, it's a mirror or something. Nice. Could this be a trophy, guys? This be a trophy. You need 25 kg to be a trophy? I think it's to 20 kg. Yeah, it doesn't look like a trophy to me. Oh, 14.848. No. Not even a 20 kg. There you go. So, on the alpha... Uh, not the same as had the spin on the obviously the Takara or the Caliber. But you know what? It's over 10 kg, so. Alright, where are you, fishy? Green, nice. On the honey, though. You've been here four days and it's been like this. Okay. I will get back to the in-game messages. Just let me, let me get these fishies here. Uh, this is a small one. It's a barbel. Nice. 
a big one. 4.877 KT. I like it. Finally, this uh, this spot's paying up. Okay, let me just check my message and then uh, we can. <laughs> Okay, I will show what the damage is on the alpha. Let's see. On the alpha, my friction break now is at 17%. Uh, besides that, everything is pretty good. Oh wow, look at that. Deadly, what did you get? I have a fish on. Oh no, did you lose the fish? Oh no, you got. Oh no, you lost another fish. Oh, tough luck. Sorry, but uh, I hope. Uh, I hope it uh, picks up for you. That's rough. I know I had experiences like that too. I'll repair the break once it's uh, 20 or 30%. This 16% is not enough. I uh, repaired my caliber when the brakes were at 30%. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with it now. Oh, yeah. Look at that twenty two KG fish, fourteen, thirteen, and nine, eight, seven. I think this might be our best day yet, and it's only been an hour and six minutes. Damn. Uh, when I was at Sura, I think it was off stream. And uh, yeah, this was off stream. This was my first day. I got something huge. And uh, after five or six minutes, what happened was it was a catfish. Definitely. What happened was uh, I think it was my caliber. I had the brakes to 29 and the fish was just slowly ticking away. And it was so annoying because for several minutes, that's all it was doing. It was just ticking away. Sometimes it would, you know, zoom a little bit. It'll give it a little bit of energy and then it would slow down. So what I was doing was for a good five minutes, I was locking the brake and reeling it in. And every time I would, you know, get a little bit of energy, I would quickly release the brake to 29. And I think it's after five minutes of playing that dangerous game, uh, it just snapped my line. That was around seven, eight minutes of fighting it, I think. And the fish was just playing around with us. So that's how I broke my leader. And since that day, I have not locked my reel. That's the last time I'm locking my reel. <laughs> you broke your intro button. No, no. This comes. This game sucks sometimes hard. So yeah, sometimes you gotta take a break. Sometimes I don't know. That was a lot of furious typing. Forty meters and one thirty-two twenty-four. Well, I'm glad we are not there. Oh, I think he's at Sura. Uh, sorry, at Uba or something. Uh, oh wow, as it turned up for us.
This is our fifth trophy common. I cannot believe it. I've never caught trophy any trophy fish this easily. Uh yeah, muggas. I got rid of the muggas when I lost a big fish on it. And that was at Amber as well. That was like my first day or my first stream at Amber, if I remember. And I lost a big fish. And I asked people and they're like, no, they don't use muggas. They use uh, the hook I'm using, the WG. And ever since I've got the shank and the WG, I haven't lost a fish yet. Uh, so I have good confidence in these hooks. But I know it's only a matter of time before I lose a fish. I'm using the Zenith WG hook. On the mug, I've lost big fish at uh, at bear as well. And you know how rare big fish are for me at bear. So that's why the mugas suck. I know they're the most expensive, but their unhook rate is just too high. But 11 hours and then snap is... How do you even play a video game for 11 hours straight? That's... That's just insane. I could do that when I was like in middle school or high school during summer vacation, but holy cow, not now. And to have it snap in the, uh, in the end is just... Uh, I have one of the bloody that someone uh, gifted me, but I already lost a fish on that. Uh, I have, so I bought the, oh man, these expensive hooks. I bought three of them, I think, or two of them at least. Uh, these are good. I haven't lost anything on them, but again, these are size six. They're for small fish. The size two someone gifted me recently, and unfortunately, I believe I unhooked a fish at Sura using this. Now, again, it doesn't mean this is a bad hook. It's just RNG, right? Uh, the rate, unhook rate for this hook might be far less than the Mugga. Nice, 14 kg carp. Yes. Lock with the 5.7 kg. Leather hair. Oh man, we should have had a competition. Free one. Is the smallest. yet okay you haven't lost Luca are you okay I think everyone has their preference of hooks uh So, like the bloody series have not let you down. I'm very sure for a few people, they're using the Mugga series hooks and that hasn't, you know, let them down at all either. Or maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so once again, it's slowed down. Uh, but let's see. Time we caught this actually it was at 4 12 a.m or p.m i think this yeah these were all during morning to daytime <laughs> you just had them in your bag well i'm happy uh i'm happy they were just in your bag and they worked so well for you and after that little explosion of fish, uh, it has quieted down. Uh, but we are not moving. So I'm very sure after a bit of wait, it's going to explode back again. Yeah, after I bought the Muggas, the most expensive one, I'm like, okay, you know what? Unhooking is a thing of the past. Uh, and once I started losing fish here and there, at one point when I got to Amber, I got so pissed. I'm like, you know what? I have to waste another like 200 silver or however much on more hooks. 
And uh, after that, which is recently, I I hope I don't lose any more because I don't want to buy any more hooks. Oh yeah, so that 9,000 silver, I hope it really goes up. I need that Tagara. 26.5. Oh yeah, then we can go to uh, Sura, we can go on that island and nothing will push us. Bud died, yeah? That seems so. I'm gonna wait till morning. And then we can move to uh, our one marker here. Either that or we can cast from here. Alright, so I get nibbles here and there, but nothing is uh, staying on. We have honey dough, we have oysters, and we have mussels. What did I catch this fish on? Uh, we got this on garlic and mussel. See, guys, again, all of the wild carps I've got were on garlic and mussel 20. That's insane. This mirror was on oyster 20 and caviar. So maybe uh, we can get a mirror trophy on oyster 20. Maybe. And then absolutely. On the honey dough. What's on the honey dough? This. What this leather here? Oysters. 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 Wow. It's uh, oysters have given us all the big fish. So honey dough has still yet to pay up for us. Uh, getting used to nine hundred. Thousand a net here and spending 100 to 200 on be again. Tongue is just catch fish for everyone, Lord. Yeah, tongue is OP. Tongue's amazing. Tongue is what every lake needs to be. Uh, where you make plenty of money, where you're getting good fish all the time, and there aren't you know these stupid dry spots, dry marks, and it's just entertaining and it's somewhat lucrative, I guess. It keeps you at on edge. And it's entertaining. And I'm very sure by the time I have Tunguska unlocked, it will have been nerfed. Uh, no, I don't need the Magas too. I already have three of them. Oh no. Uh, why would you send this to me? Uh, blue gun, unfortunately, I, I really hope it picks up for you. Hopefully your next uh, next hooks are that you buy uh, serve you far better than the Magas. Unfortunately, it took this long for you to unhook these fish on the Maga. Like for me, it was, uh, it was at bear. I was getting frustrated by the time I got to bear how many fish I lost on the Maga. But at amber was my last straw when... I just went through such a long period without catching a big fish that when I did hook a big fish, I lost it and that was my last draw. Okay. So Tunguska has slow days too then. Like I mentioned, 200 silver per hour or more is my minimum point. And if I do under 200 silver, then it's not good. Unless we catch some rare fish. Or interesting fish, or we had a very long fight, you know? Then money doesn't matter. <clears throat> uh, but if we're just catching regular fish, uh, then I would like to make more than 200 silver per hour. Uh... Did you fish? Yeah. yeah, you were getting spooled hard too. That's the other reason every time I get a big fish now, I don't raise the rod by right clicking or press shift. Only with the small fish when I have, uh, when I don't mind losing the fish, I will shift it.
Damn. You are OP. <laughs> 300 silver per hour. The best I've ever done is at Kurai and I made, I believe, 880 silver in two hours. That's the best I've done. Uh, Volkov for me is like the best place because every time I've gone to Volkov I've always made 300 silver per hour. Uh, there was a time when uh, I think it was on stream it was going so slow for me and I'm like you know what guys I think uh, we're not gonna make enough money and boom I made like 300 something silver in one hour. Uh, so surprisingly Volkov has never let me down. Yes, it is raining, unfortunately, but it's so crazy. Uh, last night, it was raining and we were getting fish. A lot of fish. Uh, I'm just hoping after this rain ends, which is only for a little bit, it's not supposed to happen tomorrow. I really hope it uh, picks up after that. Third went off, trying to see my third rod. Yeah, when, when you get that slack, it's the game's way of saying, oh... Quickly, quickly. Let's uh, let's get a pair of pliers and unhook this fish. <laughs> I'm very sure Tunguska has spoiled all the high-level player players. <laughs> I know, right? Two to three hundred silver per hour, and I'm happy. Four to six hundred an hour. Yeah, that's just crazy. Uh, I'm just waiting for Kurai, honestly. I know every stream I say that. I need that trophy Kurai char. It's been a month now, every day I log in, I look at Kurai weather first. What species is my favorite? Ah. Uh, no, I don't have a favorite. I just, I think my most favorite fish is the Kurai Char. I have to say. It's just, the color on this thing is just insane. Even its eyes, like high something. Uh, but I just love this fish. Look at how si shiny and plump it looks. It looks clean. It looks like it tastes good. And... Uh, yeah, and it pays really well. That's why this fish is my favorite in this game. Uh, I came just one kg short of a trophy. This is the trophy I want the most. After that, it's uh, it's tough to say, but brown trout has been my favorite for a while as well. Where are you, brown trout? Very beautiful fish. And, uh, yeah. A red star is what I want a lot here. Yes, definitely. Uh, but it's not as much as I want that Kurai Char trophy. <laughs> uh, post with seven trophy comments. Damn. Yeah, like these common trophies are coming out like hotcakes. I mean, without PV or Spod Rod, I've caught four common trophies. Almost an average of one per day. Now, granted, I do spend maybe four hours of streaming and playing at Amber. But even then, it's just insane. <laughs> the Cheeto Carp, yes, I, I want that. And I actually want all the rare uh, Carps at Amber. Yay, our bottom went up. What do you mean, beluga sturgeon? I've never caught that fish, so I have no idea. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the ghost carp looks interesting, right? But the rest of these, uh... Look at this, the common ghost. It almost looks like corn. Like, uh... Like when you have the corn on, on uh, fire. 
or in a fireplace you know how some of the some of the petals or sorry some of the some of the pieces are burnt that's how this looks like uh but it looks so cool it looks like a goldfish or a koi almost and then you have this common scalial binocarp look at this thing right and then you have this linear ghost carp look how cool that looks exact same thing as a mirror but different coloration and look at this frame-sided albino carp frame-sided ghost carp uh, and then we have those two red cheeto carps so lots of interesting fish that i want to catch Sorry, Beluga, I, I really don't know. Uh, there's always, even if you're doing everything right, uh, there's still like a very tiny percentage chance that you will unhook the fish. I think that's just how this game goes. <laughs> Carp, boy, yeah. Uh, Christy? Is this my favorite? I'm not sure if this is your favorite fish game or if you're asking, but this is the only fish game I've played. Uh, the other one I have is the Fisher Online, which I will be streaming tomorrow, same time. Uh, I, it's a brand new account, so I will be starting fresh. Everything will be a new experience and it will be awesome. And I hope you guys join and I hope we all uh, enjoy the stream and streaming. There is something uh, interested in one of our in, on our caliber there. I'm gonna pick it up. I think it might be small fish. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, the rain is uh, not helping here. Marker beam, cool. I'll take it. Look at our XP, guys. I think we had 375,000 XP when we started the stream today. And I'm at 605,000 XP now. Yeah, Russian fishing for. That's good. That's good. Uh, this patient, uh, sorry, this game is not like a high octane shooter or anything. It's a very uh, a patient, patient, slow, slow game. Unless you're trolling at, uh, I guess, Tunguska, Volkov, or Kurai, then it's not a slow and uh, relaxing game because you're gonna get fish all the time. To reel them in and let them out now once again sit trap we've been here one and a half hours uh we got a 22 kg common carp uh which is only i think one kg less than the trophy common we got yesterday we have a 14 kg mirror carp we have a 13 kg leather carp we have a 10 kg mirror carp we have a few 9 8 and 7 kg fish uh, so not too bad uh, it all of a sudden slowed down, and I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone has that one game that makes them rage hard. For me, the most frustrating game I've ever had the experience of is uh, APB. That game is, I think I mentioned it once before, near and dear to my heart. APB. Uh, I have over 2,200 hours in that game. I was playing it on average three hours a day for maybe a year. I haven't played it in a few years. It's a shooter, it's a cops versus robbers, and it's like an open world game. Uh, you can drive around in your car uh, in the city. Uh, you can put tattoos on, you can change symbols, you can uh, play around with the clothing. It's a very creative game. Uh, but it's also very, very frustrating the way uh, the mechanics are. Thank you, Christy. I'm saving up for a uh, Tagara 26.5 kg reel. That is 17,000 silver, so I need it. 
Yeah, you know what? It sucks uh, what happened to you, Beluga. Uh, you know, stuff like that happens to all of us. And uh, for me, when I was really, really down with this game, I just stopped playing it. Like I mentioned, one hour a day, hunt for eel. I would just log in during the nighttime at Oldberg. Hunt for eel. Get a eel. Don't get a eel. It's okay. Quit the game. That's it. That's as much as I would play for a solid week or two. Ah. Alrighty. Uh, Christy, if you are logging off, uh, thank you. Thank you for uh, watching the stream. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I have so many hours invested in that game. I have a collage of screenshots where uh, people were calling me a hacker. They call you bad things. They argue with you. It's not just the people that sometimes piss you off and just aggravate you so much. It's also the game that beats you down as well. Uh, this game has like been very frustrating at times. And I feel so helpless. Like you know how everyone's catching red star was, they're catching trophies, and here I am, four hours in, and I have no trophy, I only have, you know, one ten kg fish. And I feel so helpless. I'm like, I'm doing everything I can, but they have a PVA, maybe that makes all the difference. So I've been feeling helpless like that for a long time in this game. I'm just happy it's paid off, you know, the past couple of days for us, especially on stream. I have that added stress of, okay, I need fish because uh, there's people watching. They need to be entertained. Uh, so Tagara is 26.5 kg, Venja is I believe 30 kg. Uh, since I am very patient, I will end up buying another uh, Venja. But right now I want the Tagara because it's unlocked for me. The Venja will be at level 30. And I think that's a lot of hours to go still. A small fish right now. Bream, as long as we get marker beams. Ready, let's let's see. Wow, what the heck? Our light is shining on the bell. I uh that's gonna be an issue if it's gonna blind us like that. And we have a mirror. Unfortunately, none of... Uh, oh my god, look at that common ghost carp. Oh, are just getting them like hotcakes. And I need a piece of that hotcake. Yeah, that does uh, reflect light. Well, there you go. That's one disadvantage of that bell. Common ghost carp. Nice. Uh, the rain stopped, fortunately. But it ashes. <laughs> yeah, I've been spending a lot of silver recently too. It's all because of streaming. I've been buying different boilies. I've bought so many different uh, expensive hooks. I'm jumping between maps. I'm renting stuff. And you know, I usually don't do that. I'm very uh, a conservative. So if I don't need to jump a map, then I won't. I'll stay put and fish unless it's completely dead. But you know, I'm not complaining because uh, we have been making money the past few days. Obviously, it's because I'm spending so many hours there, so I have to make money, right? 
Uh, uh, Jess. Jess and Chris, have you guys moved spots yet? Or are you still at 162? Oh, you have a full net already? Damn. This PVA is way too good. Damn. I only have 34 fish. I've been here an hour and a half. Hopefully there's a carp order. A common order for a 20 kg common. If something or a honeydew, I think that's going to be a bream, probably. Adam, thank you so much uh, for sticking by. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow. I'll be streaming the Fisher online, and uh, I hope you have a great day after that. 245 silver for 35kg mirror, of course. Just like yesterday. Uh, but it's okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know about that order. Yeah, pike and bird orders. Like, the restaurant always wants stuff people that people are not going to that map for. Like, at Volkov and Kurai, all the cafe orders are, like, for bottom-feeding fish. Uh, when trolling is like the main attraction of that map. Oh, 245 without the cafe order. Okay. Yeah, but that's a 35 kg Mericarp. That's insane. I'm going to get 120 maybe silver from a 25 kg. Oh, sorry. It's not even 25 kg. It's a uh, 22 kg. Guess is on the pikes. Yes, are you at Oldberg or Leduga? Or Tunguska, I don't know if they're pikes at Tunga. Oh my fish. You can do it. Can do it. Oh. Maybe a burpet? That initial pie was hard. That works. Uh, block. Alright, yes. All the best. I know you're gonna kill it. Oh, is that a grass carp? Nice. A 9.851 kg grass carp. So random. Random you are. I know the grass carp is also at a cafe at Amber sometimes.
pictures. Oh, finally, our muscle and 20 getting something here. Please be a no, I mean, not a big fan. Twenty. All right, you you're catching way too many trophies. Not even fair. <laughs> Twenty-eight k. Wow. And that is a Mercarp. Unfortunately, it's not even a marker, is it? Nope. So Honeydo has brought in only small fish today. Uh, but the only reason I have the Honeydo out is for the rare fish. Weather is going to be nice, no rain. And I think one more hour or maybe 45 minutes I'll spend here. And that's going to be it for the stream. Uh, please don't forget once again to uh, like stream here and uh, hopefully we get something interesting here and as always uh, if I do catch something interesting like this trophy carp after the stream goes out I will edit the title I'll say you know the, this stream I caught a trophy common and then in the comments section I will uh, put in the time I got this fish so you can just uh, click on the timer and uh, you don't have to watch entire four hours to uh, watch when I caught that yeah, I ate your shot. Because uh, grass carps are very rare in amber. So when you get all of a sudden a trophy, it's like, uh, what? <laughs> uh, so that's nice. Look at that. 9.8 kg, and that's our one, two, or fifth biggest fish. Alrighty, let's see here. Competiciones. Uh, this. Password, common carps, mirror, and albino. Good thing. Confirm readiness. I am ready. If anyone from the stream wants to join, uh, you can do that. That was so random. And <laughs> you got it too. Uh, any famous inhabitants? Oh my god, look at this. Tried to catch. Making fun of us, 32 kg. How much uh, will this fish have brought in, the money-wise? Garlic and muscle 20. Like what, 1,000 silver, 2,000 silver? What is the most expensive fish anyway? Wow, look at that. So many mirrors here, so many comments. Damn. Now let's look at Sura here. One big head and one relet. <gasps> no way for it. Uh, okay, Beluga, I uh, I accepted it, so whenever I guess the fish start, hopefully in the morning, uh, it'll be a repeat of uh, last time. So my, my Sivan Trout 10kg trophy that I caught brought in 330 silver. Oh my god, why the hell does this happen? I hate this so much. You guys hear that? The gunshot, the fire gun, uh, the rifle gunshot? Not a little, you know, pew pew gun, it's a freaking rifle. It scares me every time. Loud too. Hey, Blue Guy, it's so quiet right now. Just waiting. The common mirror and common scale <laughs> I've heard this several times now in this spot. At Old Berg while fishing for eel. At that specific spot, I think it's a rifle that's even heavier sounding than this. Only in that spot does it play, and it plays rarely, so it scares the heck out of you. And same thing with this stupid spot, that rifle was so close sounding. 
They're just reminding us that's uh, welcome to Russia. Bad. All right, wakey wakey. We need to do some real damage here in uh, in eleven minutes of this competition. Harvesting. I confusing really because you're making ground, but you're not harvesting. But apparently, I think that levels up harvesting as well. I'm sure. I hope someone uh, from the chat who's more knowledgeable helps you out because I don't remember. I haven't grinded these harvesting skills and ground bait making skills in a very long time. But whatever is your last thing that's unlocked, I know it's expensive, but as long as you uh, keep making that your last unlocked recipe, it has the highest chance of leveling you up. Something tiny on. That is, oh wow, what is this? Tiniest little pebble. Mericarp. Yay, I am in the lead. <laughs> uh, Beluga, are you at the spot? Or are you uh, back here at Pier 1 or... Okay, I must pot. Okay. Alrighty, I'm. Uh, I'm hoping. Uh, picks up for us. I think uh, in ten minutes, when the competition ends, if it still hasn't picked up, I'm gonna move. Uh, it's cold for Amber. I thought fish like the cold. I never thought these fatty carps would uh, would not like the cold. A bream, nice. Twenty, twenty-one. Maybe if it gets warmer in the next few minutes, maybe that that's when we will get start getting the bites. Another bream. I hope it's a marker. Yes, it's a marker. We're making uh, some side cash here with the honey dough. Uh, let me check the Discord, the official Discord, and see if there's uh, any trophies being posted here. Nope. 
Oh yeah, what's been happening guys is uh What's been happening is my previous two, two streams uh, they've had copyright claims uh, on them. It's so stupid. Uh, by two random like different music companies I think. Now I'm not monetized so I don't make any money so it, does not, it doesn't matter for me. But I still disputed that claim because uh, you're not going to get away with just simply you know making a claim on my, my videos. And for a month, you cannot uh, monetize that video. So if you did make money, uh, you won't be able to for a good month. And basically, both videos, uh, they said that uh, the specific time frame, it's when the birds are chirping. Like right now, if I stay silent, see this bird chirping? Some random part, and that's where it's apparently... Uh, Apparently music or something. Let's see. I disputed the claim and uh, they have like a month or less to get back to me. I don't know if uh, if anyone else has ever had that issue. Other streamers or people, have they ever said anything like this? Because I would like to know. I made a post about it on Discord, but no one really did anything about it, so... All right, uh, 4.7 kg. Is that my biggest? Yeah, okay, it's going on size. Hopefully soon. We hope this, this hair. Garlic and muscle 20 gets a big fish. Our oysters and caviar have slowed down as well. Uh, air carp. Uh, but here's the thing, uh, for both claims, they uh, they give you the time at which the music was there that they have the dispute with. And both times, I was just fishing like this, I was just standing here randomly. And while I was talking, the birds chirping was in the background and apparently that set them off. So had it been when I was in the menu of the shop and there's music, okay, then I would understand. Uh, but that is... Not the case, it's stupid. I think uh, it's just the algorithms that uh, pick this up and they automatically just file a lawsuit against you. Not a lawsuit, but you know, like a, a right copy, right suit. Uh, so I'm like, if they're gonna give me problems, I'm gonna give it right back at them. You can't just get away with it easily. I didn't do anything wrong. There is no music at all. I had to sign my name on it. So let's see what happens. That is stupid. And as soon as someone does a copyright claim on you for for one month, you cannot monetize the video. Meaning, all like everyone who makes a living off of YouTube, they make majority of their earning within the first few days. Because they release the video, all the subscribers watch it. When their subscribers watch it, uh, their rating on the video is really good. So YouTube recommends that video to everyone. As the traffic dies down on your video, make less money obviously so in that one month the damage is done and i had that happen to me back when my channel used to be monetized on my most popular video uh you know i was getting thousands of views and some idiot you know i don't know they didn't like me or they hated me or wh whatever the reason uh they just made a copyright claim and that's it i could not monetize the video and i lost a good bit of money i mean when I say good bit of money, I don't mean thousands of dollars. I just mean a few dollars. Uh, but that is stupid. That's how YouTube. Oh wow, I caught a mirror and a common? 
Nice. I was so busy talking, I completely forgot. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, sorry, Beluga, but it's very slow here. So as soon as this competition ends, seven minutes, I'm gonna move to. Uh, I think I'm gonna move to Pier One or this this arc here. Well, I need to see the general chat here to see if uh, people are working here. Amber slowed down. The honey dough is working. Okay, decent sized fisher again. That is a Perhaps or common. I'm sure. Ooh, that's a leather, I think. See that hump on its back? Never mind, it's just the angle is weird. Or maybe it is a leather. A frame sided. Heck yes. Nice. Look at that hump on it. So interesting. 66.9%. Now I just need like a frame sided ghost. Any carp with a ghost uh, in the name. Uh, I'm using honey dough on one rod. I'm using oyster and caviar on another rod. And the last rod I have the good old garlic and muscle 20. I'm trying everything I can. Uh, 4.7, 4.3. I hope you get something soon. What do we have so far? Plenty of uh, 6 kg plus fish here. Been here almost 2 hours, hot damn. And block, 14 kg mirror. Course. You're on oyster caviar, huh? That's definitely working today, I guess. Uh, the biggest one, like our trophy was on garlic and mussel, but all other big fish were on oysters. The oyster. 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 So it's definitely working, this combo. Uh, I would say it's all about just waiting here. And uh, it's a patience game. I'm one third way through level 27. I believe that should be third, but yeah. Can't wait. Wow, block it's picked up for you. Are you, uh, are you still at 162? Here. Nice. Getting spool, that's good. Oh, okay, you, you still are. Alrighty, so I'm uh, hoping that it's picked up. You're getting fish, apparently Beluga has something big on. Uh, it's uh, it's a matter of time before I guess I get something. Uh, 
now I'm in a uh, now I'm in trouble, huh? Luga, you might get uh, something much bigger for the competition. I would throw them once again, but I'm gonna move from here soon. I'm not gonna bother. Damn, someone just got a 12.4 kg sterlet. <laughs> yeah, Amber was unfortunately slow. It is slow. I don't think I'm gonna make much. Uh, but holy moly, 190 silver in 10 minutes. There you go, guys. Hike Queen. <laughs> yes. Are you at Old Berg though? I know, I think I asked this before. My memory is really bad. Uh oh. 35% damage, good luck. I hope you can reel it in in 4 minutes because we have 4 minutes and 38 seconds left in the... Holy cow. 24.9 kg mer. Uh, zero point one. Yes. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Uh, where are you? So Tyler H just caught a twenty-four point nine eight six kg mercarp, and that is only point. 014 kg away from a trophy. Another red star, but this is a global. Holy cow, what even is this? We're finally getting fish. Is that a grass carp? No, that is a common. No, you don't. Not strong enough to go anywhere. Ah, uh, this looks like a 6 to 8 kg though. Ah, uh, it's a 7 kg, nice. Right in between. Thank you so much for tuning in, Garrido. I hope you have a great day in your class. Holy cow, are you cutting it close? Uh, thank you for tuning. I will see you tomorrow. Till then, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your class. How am I doing in the competition? So I have a 4.7 kg mirror carp and I have 7 kg common carp. Ah, uh, Beluga apparently, not apparently, he has a big fish on his strongest setup as well, I believe. Uh, so if he can reel it in within three minutes, he's going to win. But I'm glad he has another big fish on though, after what he went. Uh, and I really want big fish, please. This... Honestly guys, this was the biggest surprise today. Not that we caught a trophy common, which will be our fourth one, but how little it fought. Like this was a second thought at the time because our alpha was getting spooled a little bit. 
So I was like, oh my god, let's go. And within like, what, two minutes, I was about to net the fish. Uh, but it just went into the water, it swam around again, and we still netted it so quickly. Uh, so that was a huge surprise. Block is your uh net full again. Because holy cow, are you getting insane fish? I wouldn't be surprised if you're halfway there. I'm 47 of 100 fish in uh, two hours. But this is all about catching rare fish and catching a different trophy. What do we have here, honey dough? Another mare hair, a small one though. Oh, a frame sided carp. See, that's what the honey dough is good. It brings in small fish, but it brings in these rare different types of fish. Eleven and four. Damn. Ten kg common, nice. Okay, that's uh, I don't know who's gonna win. Is it does does it add the total weight or? Oh yeah, but you did have uh, a huge amount of uh, wear and tear, so I guess. The, you know, you'll have to repair it and you have another fish that got away. Ah oh, damn. I don't know what to say <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, but holy cow, I've never seen anyone have that many fish get away. That's just way too much. Her carp, 25 kg, oh yeah. <laughs> Two minutes, and then we move. And then I think it's only like a 20, 20 more minutes, I'll try out the new spot and that's it. This honey do I tell ya? <laughs> Common trophy Bistro
I think we can fill up our net if all of our rods had a needle on them. That's just crazy. Definitely would prefer some bites on them. Uh, 50 seconds left. Uh, honey dough. Don't you make honey dough? Honey dough, this. Oh yeah, I uh, I don't know. I think you can buy it anywhere. Twenty-five seconds left. Holy cow, what? A trophy cruising carp. <laughs> this is more surprising than a common carp trophy. <laughs> That's way too funny. Sorry, Block. I'm going to have to go to the store to see if... Uh, if it sells. I'm just going to close the game and start it again right after this competition ends. Uh, and I can go to the store if you want. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. That's just, uh, that's just funny here. Look at that. Hey, if the restaurant order has a trophy, uh, solution, which I doubt it does. All on honey, though. <gasps> yes, yes, yes! I was right about to move. Oh my god, okay. Alright, one result. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, competitions won, one. Yay! Oh, right. Three competitions lost. GG. Yeah, I've caught a few crucians and kibbles. Obviously, at Mosquito. Uh, but uh, to get a trophy, another trophy here, that's just so funny. I'll gladly accept it. Alright, I think it's time to move spots because uh, it's tough now that I got this fish on. Like, do I move or do I not? I'm just going to quit and uh, go to the new spot. We have to try a little bit here. I hope I didn't mess that up. And we are back. I, uh, I was supposed to stop the recording. The issue with OBS is when you are recording, it does not tell you that you're recording. Thank you. I built uh, my PC in, in May. I spent, you know, a decent amount of money. Uh, obviously, when you, you're going to build a new system, it's going to be smooth, right? So uh, your system is really old. That's why it's well, not smooth. 
And I'm sure when you build it, yours is going to be faster than mine because it's going to be obviously newer tech. Uh, but thank you. I'm happy it is smooth. Come on, come on. I have SSD, I have two SSDs. Uh, but I've just not installed any games on them because none of the games are require heavy uh, resources uh, from your hard drive, like re uh, loading textures and stuff. So if this game I installed on my SSD, like it would load up in no time, but... Alright, is there anything in the cafe? Wow, pathetic. Okay, let's go to our spot. Uh, let's spend a little bit, uh, maybe 20 minutes at the very most. 10 to 20 minutes. Let's see if we can get anything here and then we'll go ahead and sell the fish. Tally up everything. Uh, apparently brain lost. Two fish as well. What's going on? Okay. Uh, the clip on this location is 30 meters as well, right? I think so. 30 to... No, it's uh, 33 to 35 if I remember correctly. Hello, old spot. We meet again. Alright, Beluga, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. I'm not sure if you're leaving the stream. Oh, okay, you're just leaving the game. Alright, uh, well, good competition. Yeah, I think people are catching it on 33 as well. Alright, just, uh, yeah, 10 20 minutes here, and that's it. right you're gonna pass to the right as well huh wow all the casts are to the right oh no not across the way and here what is this it's on the caliber nice Oh, okay, honeydew, of course. Of course, everything's gonna buy the honeydew. Uh, you know what? I've caught three common trophies here. And uh, on that side where that tree is, that's where I've got, where I've caught uh, two of the rares. So essentially, I should have gone over there for the rare fish. But. Um, I'll try the spot here. I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's quick. I don't think we're gonna have much luck here either. Oh, never mind. Our uh, garlic and mussel appears to be getting something here. Oh, yes, please be a big fish. Decent size. No, it's dead again. <laughs> yeah, I. Yes, uh, I'm happy I made that decision because I'm very stubborn. Sometimes I won't move. I definitely have a 5 to 10 kg fish on this. <gasps> no! Guys, look! <laughs> it's the Cheeto fish. It's the Cheeto fish. Hot 
Damn. Okay, I'm not gonna raise my rod. I'm not going to uh shift press this guy. Okay, you know what? I'll raise my rod here. Oh my god. Guys, I am gonna raise my rod and I'm gonna shift press this. I want this ASAP. Holy cow guys. Holy freaking cow. This is a big fish too. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Please don't unhook. Please do not unhook. Please do not unhook. Oh my god, look at this guy. Oh my god, yes. How big do you think this guy is? 10 kg? 8 kg? Oh Cheetos, come to me. Yes, thank you, Block, thank you. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, yes. I can't believe this. Oh. Holy cow. There you go, guys. There you go, guys. The moment... I've been waiting for it, the moment everyone has been waiting for. The Cheeto fish, not only that, but it's a 14 kg one. And it was on our... It was on our uh, Tagara too. And that was on the classic class uh, boilies. Oh yes. Can you, can you believe it? My, my first fish removing this pot. I was like, you know what, 10 minutes here and that's it. 10 to 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone. Oh, Neil. That's what I love. Am I on the leaderboards? I wonder if I'm on the weekly. I know, right, Jess? <laughs> Every time at the end of my stream. I can't believe it. Alright, so which fish was this? Uh, I need to look at this again. Red Starvacarp Scaly. Oh, I'm not even close. Look at these fish. Holy cow. And no one's got a big one today. Uh, so that was super sweet. <laughs> yes. And it was on garlic and muscle, guys. There you go. We are going to make such good money today, I think. Sided. This, uh, this honey dough, seriously. Small fish, but, uh, good, good rares. I mean, not, nothing too rare at this time, but, uh, definitely has the signs of getting something rare. Let's go on to the weight. Look at that. A 22 kg trophy, 14 kg starver carp. Then we have a 14, 13, 10, 9, 9. Uh, I have spent uh, two hours, two and a half hours now. Uh, Luga, I am going to end the stream in like five minutes. So in five minutes time, I will go to, uh, I'll go to the store and I'll show everyone how much all of these fish are worth. Can't wait. That Tagara is ours. Look at that, another one. Uh, another, what is this? 
Another frame sided carp. Nice. Wow. I know. Oh, yeah. All right, cool, right? Are, are you any good now? No, you're not. <laughs> we need that cool, right? But here's the thing, guys. Now that I have the, the Tagara, right, temporarily, I need a new spinner rod because this carp rod is 39 kg. It was a gift. Thank you so much. Uh, but now I need to buy a 39 kg spinning rod. I need to. I think that's all I need. I can use everything else. So that's going to take a hit on our total that I'm saving for uh, for the Tagara. Okay, the old spot is active. I guess once uh, the entire amber went active again. So it doesn't matter where you are, I guess. That's good, it's active. Get some fish. And I think this is going to be it for me. So let's go into town. Sell our stuff. And uh, see how much we earn today. That star was definitely the highlight here today. And that common. Our second highlight. I guess uh, Amber finally gave to us what we were ripped <laughs> from us. Oh man, that's great. Uh, are there trophy fish, I believe, in uh, the Fisher Online as well? Because I know they have marker fish and non markers. It's exactly the same as Russian Fishing Force. So I'm going to, I guess, go ahead and answer my own question that probably does have trophy fish as well. The yellow marker. Where am I going? Down this is way. Uh, no, you. Uh, I don't need the twenty-three kg spinning rod. I have, uh, thirty kg spinning rods. Thirty kg and thirty. Oh, okay. I need a forty kg spinning rod for the Tagara. So I already have three thirty kg. Wow, so much money I spent and already there are, uh, I've outlived them. Like, I have a better reel. And once I buy the Tagara, I'm going to have to upgrade again. So I doubt our calf over here is any good for us. Let's go ahead over here and sell. Uh, thank you, Beluga, but uh, I, I don't need it. Alrighty, let's go back price. Let's see here, 173. So the common carp uh, price is going up. I remember a few days ago it was 113 silver. Yesterday was, I believe, 130 or 143 silver. Today it's 173 silver because I think after the restart, a lot of people have left. Red Starva carp, 122 silver. The red Starva carp is 122 silver. That's insane. Holy cow, imagine if it was a trophy. How much more it would be worth a leather carp is 13.5 35 silver 25 silver 23 silver uh there you go guys uh so in two hours and 48 minutes we made 705 bucks wow so that is uh 400 bucks for two hours for three hours it's going to be 600 bucks we smashed our record here nice Guys, the oysters definitely paid off, even though it was super slow at times. Look at that, even the Crucian Carp Trophy we have here. Um, made amazing money today. Damn, 705. God damn. Damn, yeah, thank you so much, Jess. Thank you, Beluga. Thank you, Jessica. Uh, thank you, Block. Thank you everyone else uh, for sticking by. I really hope the stream was entertaining to for you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed the fish I caught today. It's definitely, let me recap this. It was definitely a treat today. 
Uh, we got the one fish that we really wanted at Amber, and that was this Cheeto Car pair. Uh, 71,000 XP, 14 KT, and 112 silver or something like that. Not a whole lot of money, but again, this isn't even a trophy. Uh, so that was amazing. Anyway, tomorrow I will see you guys again, same time. And I will be playing the Fisher Online. Hopefully, hopefully that works and I don't derp around too much in that game. Uh, so until next time, guys. Enjoy.